Welcome, Metalheads. I've got a fantastic album review for you right now. This is David Reese, former Accept vocalist. Now, he's just released his new album. It's called Baptized by Fire, and it's a fantastic album. It's definitely the heaviest album he's done to date. Please check it out, folks, and check out this review, which is released on El Pretro Records. This amazing vocalist was born in 1960 in the US. Now, David's done some fantastic albums with previous bands. Now, David was once with Accept. He released one album with a band which was called Eat the Heat. This was released in 1989, which is a great album. I don't understand why he didn't stay with the band, but it was a fantastic album. In 1992, David recorded and released an album with a band called Bangalore Choir. The album was called On Target. Now, I think this is a fantastic album, a brilliant debut album. Kind of reminded me of a harder edge version of Taketa and Firehouse. The songs were very solid and very well put together. And I don't understand why the band never recorded another album until 2010. When the band would release Cadence in 2010, which is an interesting follow-up. Not quite as heavy and as solid as the debut album. The band though, did also record a third album called Metaphor, which was released in 2012. David is a strong, solid Vocalist. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Paul Shortino. Very powerful. Also Ray Gillen. He's been featured on a lot of albums such as the band Stream, Christine Toll Project. Not to forget his involvement with German rockers Bonfire. His involvement was with the release of the album Inglorious, which came out in 2015. David has also done eight previous solo albums. His first solo album was called Universal Language, released in 2009. David has come up with some fantastic ideas of the past, mainly playing in melodic hard rock and metal bands. But like I said, Baptized in Fire is the heaviest album he's done to date. It's fantastic with some great young musicians behind him. Now, David has three talented young musicians. I'm not sure what country these guys are from. I'm presuming they're from South America. So I'm going to try to tell you who the uh, musicians are in this band with David. We would have on bass guitar, Ricardo. Then Marossi on bass guitar, on guitars would have Nicolo, Salvanili on guitars, and on drums would have Giannani, Salvanili, who I presume is the brother of the guitarist. So this album contains 12 songs. So I'm going to tell you what the song titles are for this album. We'd have Enemy Is Mine, I've Lost The Fight, Wrong Move, Payback's A Bitch, No Rest For The Wicked, Twilight Of The Gods, Season Of A Man, Closer To God, Archbishop of Anarchy, My Heart Burns, Acceptance of Denial, Tomorrow Don't Matter Today. So there's the song title. So now I'm going to tell you what the song's like for this album. Now, the opening track is called Enemies Man. I really like the beginning of this song. It's got a really heavy, dirty bass guitar sound. Kind of similar to something that Overkill would do, or maybe Napalm Death. Not saying it sounds like those guys, but it's got that heavy bass, dirty, distorted bass sound. I guess you could say this song does sound a little bit like Overkill. On the other hand, it does sound a little similar to Toddler Tor's solo album. So if you like Toddler Tor's solo album from Queensryche, this is a fantastic opening song. The album is fantastic. Production's really, really good, solid, with some heavy guitar sound, some very powerful vocals by Dave. This song also reminds me of a German band called Mystic Prophecy. And I'm guessing that the album cover it looks very similar to something that Mystic Prophecy has done in the past. So I can relate to the music of Mystic Force and the album artwork. So, like I said, if you are a fan of Mystic Prophecy, Toddler Tour's solo album with a hint of overkill, this is a fantastic song for you and a fantastic album. So please check out the debut song. It's called Enemy is Man. Also, the song Enemy is Man is being released as a promotional video on YouTube. So check it out, Metalheads. Next is the song We've Lost the Fight. Now, this kind of reminds me of the beginning of a song by Marilyn Manson. I think the song's called The Beautiful People, but don't let that put you off. It's just got that drum vibe to it that The Beautiful People has by Marilyn Manson. The song does, however, pick up and become a song that sounds very similar to Metal Church. I do feel that David Reese is a fantastic singer and certainly underrated. He's done some great albums. Like I said, he's got a very powerful voice, very strong. There's that graspy voice to his vocals. Kind of reminds me a little bit, like I said, of Paul Shortino. Next up is the song Wrong Move. This is a groovy song, but it's still heavy. If I listen to it and close my eyes, I can just imagine Glenn Hughes singing this. 
Next up is a song, Payback is a Bitch. Now, this goes back to the first song, Enemy is Mine. It's a very heavy song, very well produced, very melodic, with some fantastic vocals. This song reminds me of Rob Halford's band Fight, the song Small Deadly Space. So, if you are a fan of Rob Halford's band Fight, this song is definitely for you. Payback's a bitch. Next up is a song, No Rest for the Wicked. It's very similar to Rob Halford's band Fight, but it also has the vibe and heaviness of Toddler Tory's solo album. It's a pretty up-tempo song, and at times I just wish this song would have a little bit more heaviness, a little bit more double bass drumming, a little bit more heavier riffing. However, it is still a good song with solid guitar and very powerful drum sound. However, this is still a very solid song. Now, the next song is called Twilight of the Gods. This is more of a groovy song, although it still has some heavy, groovy parts towards the end of the song. All in all, this is still the heaviest album that Dave Reese has done so far in his career. It's got some really groovy songs, some really heavy tunes, detuned guitar sound, nice solid production with some great vocals and musicianship all around. However, I do wish at times this album would have some more upbeat songs, a little bit more of a thrashier power metal tone. Maybe this is something that David didn't want to do, but it is still a classic heavy album. I'm going to give this album four out of five. It's good to see David back and doing a strong, solid album. Let's hope the next album has a little bit more of a speedy, up-tempo, groovy songs. But like I said, this is a great album. The album's called Baptized by Fire by David Reese. Check it out, Metalheads. You won't go wrong. Thanks for watching. More album reviews coming in the near future.